about 18 degrees according to the car. Kind of nasty weather, so we figured, hey, we'll go for a drive and we'll check out a new hobby shop we've never had to. It's called uh, Dean's. Dean's. Dean's Hobby Shop in Owasso, Michigan. They have model kits galore, is what I've seen online. Lots of paint. Lots of paint. So, just got some MCW paint the other day, so we're going to try that out. And uh, we're going to see what kind of uh, supplies and kits uh, Mr. Dean has. So, we're going to go from there and uh, see what we can find. So, we'll catch you when we get there. Bye. Say bye, Lies. shop this is Dean's hobby stop in Owasso Michigan and sad news as we're in there she uh, she's telling us that they're shutting down in the fall I thought no because they have so many kits in there I'd, I gotta come back so okay on our way home take a look at what we got and I'll see you in a bit let's see what the old river looks like we're almost home Oh yeah. Oh, it's getting her frozen. Oh yeah, she's frozen nice. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you? Hey guys, we had made it home. Wow, what a long trip. Uh, left this morning. It is now it was four o'clock. I left this morning at like nine. We got back maybe half an hour ago. Um, it was worth it. Good trip. It was just nasty outside today. Nothing better to do just take a little ride, go for a little road trip. Stopped to Marlette, got something to eat, got some gas. Went down Sterling Heights, which is hour and a half plus from here. And, um, you know, seen some family for a bit. And we thought, hey, on the way back, let's stop at Owasso and go check out the hobby shop. And I thought, it was way out of our way, like, way out of our way. Well, actually, it was a planned trip, but either way, it was worth the stop. I'm telling you what, guys, we got there. Place was amazing. Model kits galore. I mean, I'm talking wall to wall. It was just awesome. Old school place, team know it was there. It's just, and that's sad. I heard the lady saying they're closing down in like August. I thought, no, we just, we just found out about the place. But, you know, so, uh, you know, I got in there and we're looking around and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I got this. They got that. Oh, 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 oh. I was like, ah. I was like, wow, there's just kits everywhere. I couldn't believe it. It was old kits, the ones that I haven't seen in a long time. Um, I mean, a long time. So some of them are a little pricey. I mean, they're 30 to 50 plus for a 124, 125th scale. Um, but I mean, hey, they're not, you know, some of these kits are not making it anymore, guys. So. You know, if you want one, you know what to do. Get out the old pocketbook, loosen those purse strings, get yourself one. I mean, they're just, I probably went over my limit today. Yeah, I went over my limit today, but uh, it was worth it, dude. I mean, it was worth it. These are some kits I've been looking for for a long time. And I thought, you know what? And the wife was looking at me, she says, 
time you buy it off eBay, pay the shipping. We're here, just get in it up. Mama says, yes, let's do it. So we were good. So anyways, I will uh, spin this around. I'll let you uh, see what we picked up today and uh, kind of go through them. All right, guys. I'll show you some of the kits we brought home today. First off, very excited about this. I watch a lot of you guys on YouTube. I've been watching a lot of Matthew's videos on model car video. And I've been watching the paint jobs and the MCW paint. I was like, wow, dude, that looks really nice. I've been shooting testers forever. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, testers. But I tell you what, I've gotten good at it. And I can make testers look pretty dang cool. So I wanted to try this out. And I went and picked me up some. Yes, sir. Some MCW. And I actually got it from Hobby Nut Model. Um, I was actually going to get it from MCW itself, but it was a dollar more bar, a jar. So, hey, why not? I'll just get it from Hobby Nut. And, uh, yeah, so I got some. This color here, I got a couple Mustangs. The Grabber Green, it's getting it. Couldn't help it. And uh, got that bad boy. We got this kit here. A lot of cool colors but wait there's more uh, grab some hardener some cast aluminum dude I saw this on there and I thought no way I uh, remember uh, gone in 60 seconds of course everybody remembers gone in 60 seconds Eleanor they have Eleanor's color here pepper gray metallic amazing cast aluminum metallic you know for transmissions manifolds stuff like that perfect pretty cool i got a mach 1 uh i think i'm gonna do in this antique silver just a cool looking color that look really nice with the black decals and that like good and uh oh we got one more box here yeah uh we got some reducer reducer some blue charcoal metallic and i had to get some engine blue you know I've been using the testers blue and it's it's close but it's not I mean this stuff's like glossy you know and then you know somebody like hey that's got four in it you know that looks like testers blue well no more my friends no more it's getting the real deal so there's that that was the mail uh, mail run the other day that was mr. UPS man dropped that out probably got stuck in my driveway I hope he didn't but I'm sure he probably did anyways moving on to the kits we picked up today um, so the grandson was with us, and he had to have something, you know, and I just thought it was cool. He goes, can I get this? Can I get this? And I thought, uh, yeah, why not? If you're interested in building it, hey, you know, getting the youth into the hobby, that's pretty cool, I thought. I'm going to botch a name. I'm not going to try, but I got the PE2 down. I can do that one. Um, little Airfix kit. I think that's a pretty cool little build for him. We're probably not going to paint it or nothing like that. But uh, it's kind of cool to give you the, the paints on the side if we were going to build it. He also got a ship. Uh, it's the Missouri. It was like, I don't know, I don't know, scale. It was like 22 feet long. Or, what, wow. It was 22 inches long. And it's got like 200 some parts. So like, eh, you better keep that here at our house while you're building it. Um, if you take it home, it'll probably look like a Lego set. and Most of it will disappear. You can only build half of it. So, anyways, the other kits I picked up. This kit I have been watching for for a long time. I had one back in the day, and you guys are going to be like, wow, really? Why? Yes, sir. The 88 Dodge Daytona. I had to have it. Me, I like this kit. Whoever did the box art on it, come on, man. I mean, I'm going to admit it. It looks crappy. I mean, they use the crappiest parts out of the kit that's got kind of ugly looking rims. It's got the perforated hood. Just, no. Um, and plus, guys, it's a muscle car. It says so on the box. I actually had an 84 Daytona, and it was actually a pretty cool car. It had like white and black checkered seats as it had a four-speed in it. Um, mine had the four headlights in it. I actually have a MPC kit somewhere in my box pile at 84. Anyways, I'm going to do the yellow build, or this is the stock build of it. I'm not going to do it in yellow, obviously, but yeah, I had to have it. I've been looking for this for a long time, and 
I mean, on eBay, they're 45 to $50 plus pay shipping. Why? I don't know. That's what they go for. Um, I give 25 bucks for it. I could, I can pass it up. I had to have it. Had to have it. It was a must. Okay, moving on. Another kit I had a long time ago as a child. And, um, the old 70s Challenger TA. I had this kit back in the day. And, uh, they repopped this back in 05, I think. 05. Yes, 05. And the one I had it was the exact, exact same model. And I'm assuming Ravel probably made it, but mine was the one. Remember the kit that had the, uh, it was kind of like the plum purple color. And that had a cooler stance, like on the street or something. That's the one I had originally, but this is the same kit. Um, the box art is different. But, um, so yeah. Had to get me one. So this next kit, my wife is actually going to build. I'm a big Mustang fan. I can't help it. I love Fox Body Mustangs. I have an 85 Capri. I got an 84 Capri T-top. That's that one's in dire need of restoration. It's like stripped, whatever, off the subject. Um, my wife is going to build this. It's going to be her first build. The old MPC. Yeah, that's right. MPC. This kit actually builds very nice. I built this when I was a kid. You know, like most kids' models, they got ruined, destroyed, you know, played smash up with them, whatever. It's gone. I actually bought one here a while back, put it together. Don't know what happened. The paint went crazy on me. I did some weird metallic silver on it, some new paint I never used. Purple Pond it. Um, I repainted it. It actually looks nice now, but it's sitting in a box on my shelf. Same back, same box, same artwork on it. And I will put it together one day, but, uh, She's coming to come out and do a kit with me. And I mean, this is this is a pretty cool car. It's Detroit Muscle. I mean, come on. Yes, it's a four-cylinder turbo, but I'll tell you what, back in 84, these these cars were like the king. I mean, these things were nasty. Sounds like it's been dropped a few times. I don't think a lot of it's on the tree. Either way, it's never been open, so hopefully it's in good shape. I hope, I hope. Um yeah, it wasn't. It was a little more than I wanted to pay for, it, but it wasn't bad. I've seen these online go for quite a bit. They had the '85 kit there, and or I'm sorry, the '85 and a half, I think it was, the red monogram, and it's got the solid kind of like the flush mount uh, halogens in it. And I just, I don't know. I just the kit was a little more money, and I I I just hate these chrome headlights. They're just come on, put a plastic lens in it. You can paint them up, make them look good, but. It's just not the same. You guys know that. So this is going to be her first build. So we're going to be on that here um, maybe tonight. Maybe whenever. Not sure. We're going to break out some of those MCW paints and try them out. Another kit. I would go to the store and like, yeah, I got to have that. You know what? But I'll get it later. I'll get it later. Next time, I'll get it later. Next time I go back, it's not later. Now it's never. Can't see one. I haven't found one since. Found a couple on eBay. Going for stupid money. Yes, sir. The 83 convertible. Molded in red, of course. So that's how we did it back then. Cool kit. I mean, just super cool. Got the Recaros. I mean, come on. 4i Pride. Man, I'd love these old foxes. Still wrapped, sealed. Um, this kit was a little pricier, but it was one of those. I, I got to have it. It's, it's coming home with me. I will probably build this one in time. It will get built. I'm not sure what color. I actually do like it in red. It's pretty cool. I kind of wish they made an 85, 86 kit because, man, I just love the nose on that car. Remember when they had the flat black, the satin black on the hood and it said GT here? Just beautiful front end. Loved it. I don't know if they made one or not. If they did, let me know. I would love to snag one. I'd have to do some research on that. So, this is the last kit I picked up. Same thing. Every time I go to the store, it's they reissued this. Um, I'm going to look on the box here before I reveal it to you. Because you guys are like, mm, that's okay, kit. But they, re, they repopped this back in 13. I had this kit back in 87 when I was a kid. Somewhat of a kid. I don't know how old I was. And I loved it. 
I love this this style car anyways yes sir Bob Glidden pro stock I had to have it it was like way more than I wanted to pay for it but uh, I, I mean these things are like 50 bucks on eBay all day long and the time you paid 10 to 15 dollars shipping I figure hey we're here might as well right and um, so I had this kit when I was a kid back then when they had the original box art remember it had the car sitting there like in the studio and they had mom and dad the kids the whole family were there and they had all the trophies and stuff standing here dude they won like almost $60 for that kit and I thought ooh and this one wasn't far from it but it wasn't that price and anyways I thought you know what this kit is newer and I'm gonna build this and I figured the stickers the decals the water slides they've got to be a little better shape because they're newer and that's why I went with this one I really like the box art on the other one really really do but yeah we want this one and <laughs> so I gotta show you guys something here cool thing is back in the day I had this kit like I was telling you and I was cleaning up my mom and dad's garage after you know they've been gone and all that good stuff and anyways I thought I don't know how I got there no idea my dad did woodwork I found this and I actually just pulled this out of a box the other day my old Bob Glidden car from when I was a kid yeah look at that bad boy I thought I didn't do too bad of a job back then I was pretty impressed myself but look how dirty that is I might try to clean it I don't know why just unbelievable that's something there's that testers for blue look how nice and shiny that is yeah they look like they all came with that even did the old american look nine inch in the back looks like a strange x or something not sure but anyways ugh, look at that oh bob would be sad he saw his car looking like that i love that front end of that bird 87 turbo coupes oh my favorite front end this sweet looking look at that the chrome is almost gone it's just over time has just peeled it away look at that detail yeah right and it hardly do not just lucky it got painted anyways it looks pretty good for uh how old it is 87 can't do the math sorry but uh, i'm gonna clean it but i thought i gotta have it i gotta have the adult version now i gotta put it back together and uh make it worthy on the shelf i did build an 84 uh kit a while back and um dealership i was working for at the ford dealer at the time they actually had one of these on the parts in the part shelf um it was the 84 hold on let me grab this they had this sitting on the shelf and i built it up and uh, it turned out pretty nice I actually got a video of it from when i built it just been living in the box oops careful 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 so it turned out pretty nice I'm very happy with this one the glass I see come loose get it in the camera here yeah that turned out pretty good so yeah turned out pretty cool I built this while back like I say it's just sitting in the box sitting there chilling out I didn't do no super detail on the engine or anything. Oh, I did put some wires on it and stuff, but uh, that was about it. So, yeah. So, anyways, guys, that is my show and tell for today. Um, appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out the channel. All that good stuff. So, guys, please subscribe. You like, hit that like button. You know the drill. And, uh, we're going to start working on some of these models. Maybe we'll get the, the wife and the the boy out here tonight. And uh, we'll throw some of these together. And uh, I know he's in the house just chomping at the bit. Looking at that ship he bought. So I'm sure. I'm surprised he's not out here yet. Just let's go. Let's go. Anyways. Once again. Thanks you guys for uh, watching. And um, we will catch you on the next time around. I think I'm going to take this in the house and try to clean it. See how many parts fall off. So till then. See you guys.